Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Right, so let's get into it. I'm gone. Trying to finish up is... But honestly, there's a lot of... Con it's really gone. Oh, wait. Oh, this is where you... And, of course, he still screwed it up. But, okay. My will is resolute. And, of course, now Lich has no buffs. Oh. That's fine. We're going to have to uh, do a rest soon anyway. Because the Lich is very quickly running out of spells. Hate those Baylors. I thought I. Wow. They've got protection from fire and resist fire, and his fire explosion still just absolutely obliterated them. I just don't understand. Okay. So there's that. So we've got one house over here, one house over there. That's somebody way down there, that's fine. Hmm. Jump down through the roof. Because I think it takes you to an isolated area. Yeah. This is an area you can only get to if you jump in from there. And but it only gives you crap, whatever. Removes the barrier. Alright, there's a door that leads outside right here. What does this door go? Is that door the one at the bottom of the stairs? No. No, that leads out to the other side. The Crusader camp is no more. The ground is littered with the bodies of knights. Torn. Bitten. Trampled into the dirt and blood. Amidst the carnage, a lonely useless stick stands out like some mockery of a headstone the empty flagpole that once bore the sword of valor the face of Mir Mir the scholar is darkened with soot her body is charred both hands are burnt to the bone this is horrific so Sale is looking at the massacre terrified refusing to believe what he's seen is this the end of everything evil useless oaths. I can't rely on anyone. No matter how much you scold the dead, they won't answer. You feel devastated at the sight of the bare flagpole, surrounded by the bodies of those who tried to protect the stolen banner. And yet, something tells you this isn't the end. Wherever the demons have taken the Sword of Valor, you'll find them and make them rue what they have done here. All right, you can avoid this if either Holron or, um, what's his name, Ramian, if either one of them is still alive at this point, they will rally the Crusaders and ensure the Sword of Valor is not taken. In this particular situation, Holron lived past Act 1, but then I allowed, um, what's her name, Camellia to sacrifice him. So that left no opportunity, of course for him to be available here and consequently I'm sorry it'll be taken unless you come here first before you come to Queen Galfrey I think if you try to head straight here and don't worry about Queen Galfrey then um what is that why is there a yellow hmm, that must be something way down there maybe um if you come straight here then there might be an opportunity but that's it What is this? What is this? Where am I? So that's the camp where the Sword of Valor was. It says that I was we here already. Oh, that's blocked off. Okay. Interesting. 
What about the other side? What's over here? Oh, now I remember, yeah. I didn't know you could just walk straight over like that over to it. Interesting. So, wait a minute. I was here. Where is this freaking thing? Here we go. Walk back over here. And back over this way. Take all that. Char would have been here as well if um, we hadn't already made him into an undead, by the way. Demon's Terror. This plus two speed radiant flail grants his wielder a plus four attack bonus on a first new attack against a new demon. And this was on Mir Mir, so her being dead is the reason why it's laying here. A temporary altar of Iomade, near which the queen herself prayed. Mir Mir the Scholar, leader of the Order of the Flaming Lance, returned to the war wound only to meet her death here. Why is my horse leaving me? What is the deal? <laughs> I was about to say. You better get up on these stairs. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can make that. Oh, there's something we missed down there. I have to keep that in mind. Animalistic pers Perseverance. This plus five hide armor grants us wear immunity against fire and cold while polymorphed. In addition, it grants a plus 15 competence bonus on Lord Nature skill checks. Wow, that looks perfect for a, a druid. Let's go back over here, loot that barrel, and then we'll go back and search the rest of the houses. If I remember correctly, somewhere in one of these houses is a midnight bolt. So if nothing else, I definitely want to make sure we grab that. And then also, I swear... Oh, so there's another house that was... Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back over here. I'm sorry. So where... Nah. There's probably something I can figure out. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to figure this out. Um. Alright, back into here. So we came from over on the right. So that means we go here. Straight. Please don't trip the trap. Hey, we avoided that. Excellent. There are enemies over there. I'll deal with them in just a moment. I dug it. Another trap. Oh, stop. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Why are you turning around? Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Uh, most of that looks like stuff I will sell. Sell. Yep, still sell. Sell. Yep, all that. Okie dokie. Now. Oh, by the way, like I said, most of these buffs were cast by my... Li Damn! How much? 348 in a hit. And, Weapons, oh, did I accidentally... Poisons. Crap, the I keep forgetting to take so off my freaking wands. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going all. to be resting before um, getting to Discari anyway, so that'll refresh all of my wand uses. So why are you only at 75% for for this door? All this work I put into building up your, your trickery, you should be blowing these checks out of the water. I'm only concerned about it because, you know, Camellia was my trickery person beforehand, so I dumped her to use him, and this is my first time doing it. I would really hate to <laughs> get 
get to it like a really hard door or chest and just have no recourse to be able to open it, that would annoy the crap out of me. What is this? Is this the little ledge way with the... Oh, no. Okay, so this is the door that led in from when we were down on the steps. Okay, so we've, we've taken care of the pathway upstairs and downstairs. Excellent. Wait, wait, wait. And now we go back to the basement. Hmm. And check on the other side. I believe there I was another I side, must. right? If I remember correctly. Right, here we go. So what's over here? You with my life. Mythic. Alright. That was the last one. Hopefully they don't need the Lich's help though. I only want to have the... I'm only interested in resting once. I'm not interested in resting now, then having to do a whole bunch of stuff and rest all over again. Where? Oh, it's further up? Where's the first switch? <laughs> it's showing... So, this is the line. It was moving over here. It's not. It's still not showing me where the first switch is. Uh, here's what is going on. Why did Ke Kestaglia run up like that? All right. All right. Now you. Oh, here it goes. Where? Excellent. And took care of you. Dinosaur bone. Excellent. I'm gone. In fact, now I think about it, Kestaglier can probably benefit from being enlarged. That's something to keep in mind. That's a doorway. That is locked. Yep, that's what I thought. We do it my way. Storage closet, okay. Cell. Cell. What's this? Come on, man. There we go. Sell. There's more enemies here. I know it. Begone, yeah. fiend. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, her. Mythic song. Oh, this one. Yeah, let's deal with that. Why are y'all stopping? Come on now. At their normal speed. Ooh, how is the horse doing? All right, yeah. Ooh, I built this horse up properly. Uh-oh, what is that? Mangling Frenzy. This belt of physical perfection plus four grants its wear damage resistance three flat and additional 46 slashing damage on every critical hit while the wearer is raging, including demonic rage. Very nice, okay. That's definitely something to keep in mind. I don't know if it's worth losing the strength bonuses that you probably have on that belt. Don't you know? Follow if you dare. All right, so we have the option of going upstairs, or we can unlock this door and do that. What's behind here? Nothing. Perception reveals. All right. Just stuff to sell. <laughs> Alright, back upstairs. Wow. What was that sound? So first here. Uh yep, there's nothing we can do with that area. So we'll go over here. Where there's people who absolutely want our attention. False concept. Oh, probably the horse. Then I think about it. Come on now. Don't hang. Don't hang about. Stop that. Stop that. Thank you. Who is? Now that I think about it. Oh wow. So the attribute damage that the lich does, even if he's using 
one of the the cantrips it still counts that's actually kind of awesome so yeah he is he's significantly helping the team right now okay this is another one of those doors so this should be the one that's on the other side of the two that we just checked out right let's find out so this is here and then yep those those there's those two and then there's the stairs we could take excellent 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 okay moving right along and yeah okay here's where we want to go through and how are you stop you and I said stop but it didn't matter Hey, there goes that midnight bolt. And a bunch of other stuff for me to And we can go upstairs. And I think there's a nice little thing we can loot right upstairs. More enemies, okay. Lock the door. I will bring down the divine wrath. Nope. Strike. Her. I'm pretty sure that song mistress does terrible things to us if we allow her to. So I always want her dealt with first. And lots and lots and lots of fear everywhere. All right. Filleted man. Interesting. Adamantine chainmail. Looks like, oh, gloves of dueling. These gloves grant their wearer a plus four bonus to CMD against its disarm attempts. If the wearer has the weapon training ability and is wielding a weapon against a bonus two, that bonus increases by two. Excellent. over here okay Come outside boom 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 and there we go loot this royal guards barding this plus five full barding grants us where 10 d6 additional bludgeoning damage on a successful charge it also makes the wearer immune to stunned and staggered conditions excellent i think that's perfect for char and I'm just curious okay so it is a higher oh yeah yeah this is definitely better definitely definitely better and mobility will allow us to get back down in here let me help go ahead it is what I'm thinking. What? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's exactly the way this works. All right. This actually might be kind of ugly without having my Lich at full strength. But we're going to see what, how this goes. Oh, yeah. People are getting head up. This is getting ugly. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, crap. Actually, I wonder if I do a heal all, if it will try to heal my undead party members. So, let's avoid that. Nope, do that again. By the way, I put the spell on the horse that turns it into functioning essentially as another undead um undead party member so if you in case you were wondering why i was healed by the same thing things my rest the rest of my undead god i can't talk in case you were wondering why it's being healed by the same things my the rest of my undead party is being healed by that's why Give me a defiler. It's 
Somebody just failed a perception check. Nobody else is failing them, though, so... Here we go. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Moving right along. I'm pretty sure another one of those annoying Baylors is down here, but then... But then that's it. I think, if I remember correctly, all that's left after that is Discari. I'm gone. There we go. Hey, now that one wasn't too bad. I wonder why I felt like it obliterated my team last time. We can't go any further, right? Oh no, we can't go further. Hey, what is that? Gore feaster. Whenever the wielder of this plus five furious bleed great axe lands a killing blow, he gains fast healing 10 for three rounds. My, my, my. All right. And what about over here? Anything, we anything? Hey, I got a mobility check over here. Where's this go? Goes in the sky, apparently. <laughs> All right, now it's coming around over here. More people to kill. And a mobility check is somewhere I haven't been before. Okay. Boom, ba boom. What's up? Hey, I'll take that. And I could go back across over there, but I have no interest in that. And here we are. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save here. Boom. And we're gonna get a nice, nice good resting. Uh, one disadvantage of having an all undead party. What in the hell was that? Uh, before the war wound opened, we were all trying to grow grapes too. It was a bust, and years later, I came across our old house in the womb, and what did I find? Grapes as far as the eye could see, black and plump and perfect, sparkling like they'd just been doused with dew. The abyss can pervert every good intention, and in the wound, even nature itself seems to be laughing at us. I'm confused. Who was he just talking to? Uh-oh, we failed to camouflage the camp. That's not cool. Oh, Finny and the talking weapon. Wow. Okay, that's that's got to be the first time ever that I can remember Finny and providing campsite banter. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually very cool. All right. Give me just a second. Let me go ahead and boost up all my party members. All right, I think we got all, just about all the buzz that we need, except, here we go, let me throw haste on everyone. And, let's see how this goes. You are bad at pretending to be uninterested, imposter. I know you came down from heaven and even stooped to a conversation with that flighty killer, Nocticula. The Crusader Goddess and the Lady in Shadow. So that is how far you are willing to go to be rid of me. The sound of Tescari's voice causes a reaction in Radiance. True to its name, it shines brighter and brighter and begins to give off heat. It is as if the sword is silently singing as it prepares for battle. Lawful. Discari, turn to me. I don't want to attack without warning. Not even a monster like you. It's no use, imposter. Your efforts are futile. I heard that even your new mortal weapon, your crusader leader, laughed at you. Listen in silence. The imposter goddess and her imposter instruments. I know what you're made of. Mortal ambitions, mortal frailty, and fear, fear of decay, forever imprinted on mortal souls. Even yours, once mortal Elmaday. 
And what fear lives in you, demon lord? What have we here? Your servant wishes to read me, imposter. Is this the interest of a fish diving into a net? Or something else? I am the net. I am fear. I am the swarm. I come to feast. Radiant sends out a wave of light. With joy and fever, it welcomes the battle. The demon lord's howl shakes the earth. Okay. Let's get this party started off right, shall we? Sorry, I forgot to put this on it. Where the heck is that thing? Oh, uh, here we go. And... We'll turn that on. And crystal at the bottom. Hey, that's a good start. Casta Glare. Pick that up for me, would you, sir? You are so kind. Fresh Nahendran crystal. Okay, and he can't do anything else. And Delamir. Let's see how you do against them. That hit. That hit. Oh, well. And Storm Vane. How close are you? You're not getting a full attack. You're not going to be able to charge. Yeah. All right. We'll just go ahead and take it as is. Hey, you hit. 60 damage. Not bad. And the Lich. Okay. So we're going to start with Quick Quicken Spell. And you've got a swarm out here, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to go with Sanguinate. And that did how much damage? 247, not too bad. And then we're going to go ahead and... It's already empowered, right? Yep, this is empowered. So we need to maximize it. And then see how this does. Let's see. That did 348. A little bit better. I think two rounds of this should do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. They're all going to take their time. All right, they all miss, it's okay. All right, so Char's get five hits, but I think we could do it a little bit better. His charisma modifier on all, a competence bonus for his charisma modifier on all attack and damage rolls, let's do that, just to make sure we hit properly. 47, 29, and what do you know? First round. A deep moan bellows over the area. It feels as if the very stones of this, the ancient, ravaged capital of Sakors, are crying in pain under the unbearable weight. Impossible! I am chaos and death! I am the end of times! I cannot be defeated! I reign over death, and yours is no exception. Discari. For a moment, you see in your mind's eye the square in Kenebris, where it all began. Except now, you two have switched places. Discari is the one teetering at the edge of the chasm. While you stand firm, the vision fades, but your power responds to it and erupts in a single mighty torrent. Your body tenses. The wound in your chest burst into flames, bleeding heavily as if trying to kill you. But can this stop you now when you're a step away from victory? No. Whoa! Holy smokes, I've never seen that before. Oh, that was awesome. Damn! Touched his soul. Wow, that was awesome.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That made me very happy. All right, quick save here. And we are done. Let's blow this popsicle stand. A familiar figure emerges before you. The storyteller's unseeing eyes are turned toward the city ruins behind you. It appears that, despite his blindness, he perceives something that the rest of you do not. He is gone. He is no more. The demon lord has perished. He has freed our realm of his dark presence. This poor city, the capital of a ruined nation, it has become a snare for both demons and mortals. I heard the cries of the dying even before they rang out. They are dead. They have fallen along with the city. But such was the cost of this victory. What you've accomplished is unheard of, Commander. But you must not squander this chance. Forces have already gathered near Dresden to set out on the last march into the heart of the wound. We await your return. Storyteller, what are you doing here? Witnessing a story, Knight Commander. Witnessing a story yet again. What will Discari do now? He returned to the abyss to his rasping rifts, but he did not return the victor. The great demon lord, the usher of the apocalypse, failed to kill a mortal. He failed. I'm not sure what hurt him more, your power or the realization of his defeat. Discari is arrogant to the point of insanity, but it's more likely that he'll bide his time rather than launch another attack and risk everything. And while he's recovering, you will have enough time to complete your mission and rid us of the world wound. Do you know anything about what happened to the Sword of Valor? I cannot know for certain, but I can feel it. This relic hasn't left our plane. Was it stolen or lost? That remains unknown, but I foresee that you'll find it yet again. Your bond is too strong to be severed so easily. What mortals were you talking about? Who was fallen along with the city? The noble Queen Galfrey fell with a weapon in her hand. Her hundred year vigil is over at last. The brave Erebeth fought to the bitter end. This was the last day of her crusade. Many foot soldiers have left us. Who will remember their names? Who will preserve their stories? What do you mean, who? Aren't you the storyteller? Is it that what you're supposed to do? Oh, if only I were an almighty god of tales, I would keep the story of every soul that ever lived on Galorian, the great and the worthless alike, safe in my heart. Every story deserves to be told, but my abilities are limited. Alas, a great river of lies flows past me, and most of these lives are bound to be forgotten. So Sayle bows his head mournfully. I understand how you feel. How I wish I could capture every face I've seen in this war. If only I had enough paper, enough paint, enough time. Everything is clear to me now. Good, make haste for Dresden, Commander. Your allies are on their way there already. The story is drawing to a close, but it's not over yet. Hey, okay. I was worried that we had too much stuff, but we're actually still late. Excellent. We will go ahead and leave now. But we are not going straight to Dresden. I actually want to visit the prison first. So let's see. And of course, I wouldn't be that lucky. God dog it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we're actually right here. Excellent. Ba -doom -doom -doom. Ba -doom -doom -doom. Ba -ba 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 what level am I? 19 now? Wow, I'm almost at Lich level 20. Okay, um... Scouting party, but there's none I need to scout. this daring strike the spies have reported that two high-ranking demons are currently at each other's throats and their forces are in disarray the commanding staff is planning to take advantage of this infighting and is already preparing a daring surprise attack 
The officers are asking the commander to determine what should be the main focus. Seizing trophies gives you raid for plunder, which adds 11,000 finance points, 500 material points, and 100 energy points, whatever. Gathering intelligence, which gives you reconnaissance. All units in the target army receive the study target feat. This effect lasts for seven days. That's interesting. Maximum damage to the enemy during blow. All units in the target army take 20 times mythic rank physical damage. Ah. Huh. Well. Actually, I guess I will take season trophies because none of that stuff means all that much to me. The troops are ready for battle and I've been instructed about the importance of bringing rich spoils back to Dresden. And decrees. I can only do Xanthirs. Oh, yeah, and there's last forces. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Oh, call to arms. Okay, yeah, I do I do know about call to arms. Um you say one of the um I had a was a a comment on my page asking about um call to arms and whether or not I had to use it. And I didn't know it by heart, so I couldn't tell. But yeah, I used that already. And I'm waiting for it to recharge. Okay, that is the very last fortification I believe I'm supposed to do. So we'll go ahead and go here. Boom. So we can get rid of that and then we can head straight over to Baphomet's prison, hopefully. Hmm. Thousand here. Thousand here. I wonder, is there a guy all the way in the corner? I really hate that I can't see the corner. Can't bring that down anymore either. Oh well. Wow. That. Hey, a little bit. Um, let's get you out the way. Excellent. Let's get you out the way. And time. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that again. Hey, it's good for the gander. Bam. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to do that. God dog it. Oh, well. All right. Take a chill back here. Take a chill back here. All right, so it's just 1,200, dude. Oh. There we go. That certainly cuts you down. That cuts you down even more. I had a feeling you weren't really built for the drama you were asking for. Oh, yeah. This is real bad for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is real bad for you. And bing! Excellent. Okay. Doom, boom, 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 ba -da -da -dum. And what do we have here? Having wiped out the cultists, the Crusaders discover many blood streaked golden idols. The soldiers fire up the camp forge and toss them into the flames. The heat of the forge melts the blasphemous statues down as the fighters cheer and whistle. All right. Alright. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and wipe out all of y'all in one go? There we go. That's excellent. And you you here, join your fellows. I don't wanna leave you here all isolated and alone. There we go. Go ahead and get down. Get down on the floor. Get on down on the floor. And one of the prisoners informs the soldiers that the captured fortress was called the Castle of Desires. A cunning Labrezu tempter turned all the mortals that lived here into slaves in exchange for granting their deepest wishes. Of course, all his promises turned out to be lies and illusions. Okay, that's a bunch of 12, 12, 12, 12. We really want to hit this 11 so that we know what we're dealing with. These are all done, right? Those are all done. So yeah, we'll head over this way, I believe. Ooh, fact. No, it's not gonna be useful yet. I was thinking we might be able to put a teleportation thing up here, but no, you've gotta build it up a little bit first before you're able to do that. Watchtower. And it won't let us put a monument up there, right? Alchemist Laboratory. And I guess we'll put a hospital here. <laughs> Alright. Despicable. 
rules. Let's get back to it. So this is supposed to be the last little section of um, of Crusader stuff we have to do. But I've actually never maxed out all the Crusader stats, so I'm not sure if maybe there's more that needs to be done if you actually max them. But regardless, this stuff, extremely exciting. I might actually get that freaking achievement finally of maxing the Crusader stats, which would be amazing. And we'll go ahead and attack you. Uh-huh. Yep. Keep that going. And you are actually going to go over here. Oh, crap. I thought I was hoping he went first. Oh, well. And you're not gonna do enough damage, are you? I don't understand how the, the way the damage of this freaking thing works. Like, how do you have 1500, but you're doing that piddly thing to it? I know there's some little effect that he can put on people, but whatever it is, it's not worth the piddly damage he does. All the land around is strewn with shards of magic crystals. They were brought here in huge quantities so the demon worshipping spellcasters could draw power from them and summon elementals to serve them. They had no time to finish the last ritual, so a portion of the magic crystals fell into the crusaders' hands. Except. And something tells me when I finish that, it's just going to show more things down here. So let's continue this way. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, you, you gonna let me go first? Please. Um, alright. We gotta pick and choose. Bam. And we'll go with you. Mm, yep, excellent. Okay. I guess we'll start with you first. Yep, you're resilient. I know. I know. Ooh, not resilient enough, my friend. Ooh, hate how fast they move. But not quick enough. Ping! Boom, boom. Boom, ba -da -da -dum. And what did you give? While the captured demons beg for mercy, they give away extremely valuable information, revealing all the secrets and tricks of the enemy. The officers memorize every word. In the coming battles, they will have a chance to test the new knowledge in practice. And, okay. Whoops. Oh, oh, it all connects. Whoops. <laughs> oh, God dog it. <laughs> all right. Um, lead workshop. And we will, I guess, just go ahead and travel here, right? Yep, sure. Gonna have to go the long way around. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now that I think about it, what is this? Lands of Yans. <gasps> we do have a transport right here, and that will take us right over here, right? Yeah. And then, yes. Okay. So, lands, teleport. Booyah. Now we can go here. Wait, let me just do a quick save. There we go. And what is this? Oh, Baphomet's Fire. Event. Enchanting. Baphomet's Front. The Druid. What is the effect that it gives? What in the hell? I'm not reading all that. The Medium. Whenever the wearer of these gloves lands a sneak attack against an enemy, the enemy becomes vulnerable to fire for one round and suffers an additional 2d6 fire damage. In addition, whenever the enemy who has been hit by the wearer at least once takes fire damage from any source, it suffers a negative 3 penalty on all saves for two rounds. Holy smokes, a blaster who could really, really make use of this, but it does nothing for me right now, so I want to see what the druid thing does. The grim druid followed the howl of fiery creatures coming from the depths of Baphomet's flame demanded to be set free. The druid released the flaming monsters, drying up on their remaining power to fill the unholy relic with bestial rage. All of which means what exactly? 
Uh, we'll find out soon, I assume. Declaring... Oh, wait. I still need to do this? Sure. Okay, that's really no military. Was this military? I hope not. Oh, well. Whatever. Moving right along. What is Valley of Temples? Oh, that's that's the one that needs land. All right, close that. Save here. Oh, do I need? Do I have any? Yes, I do. Okay. Look at you all lined up in a row so nicely. I really appreciate that. I do. Let me shoot. Let me reward all of you. There we go. Oh, you're still alive here. Here, sister. Let me give you my thank you. There you go. Wow, those were alchemists. Definitely don't want to see what she can do. Malicious mages used to live here. All kinds of outcasts, partitions practitioners of forbidden magic and scoundrels who knew no fear of gods and were eager to sacrifice their souls in exchange for arcane power. Now they are all dead and with utmost care the soldiers examine their trophies, magic labs, storages of artifacts and occult libraries. Final veil. Okay. Alright, now we'll flip back over here. What is this? Oh, is this the ancient ghost? Hmm, save here. What am I what are my buffs looking like? Ah, virtually non existent, but you know what? We have the lich, so it doesn't really matter. Put on some haste and go handle business. Is this with the worms? What is this? Oh, <laughs> unexpected sounds break the menacing, monotonous atmosphere of the world wound. Business like chatter, the lazy neighs of ponies, the clatter of instruments, and rising above everything else, a rather expressive voice. A flying ship? How could you even think of proposing such a thing? Next, you'll tell me we should travel by portals or streak across the sky in a winged chariot. And don't look at me like that. I know what you mean. That this card has experienced things you wouldn't see in your worst nightmare. That it's time to retire and put its wheels up beside the fire, axles creaking as it tells its cart grandchildren stories of its wild youth, that I can afford more reliable transportation than this wreck. To this, I will say that great explorers and discoverers set out on their expeditions on foot, and they didn't complain about it. Yet you can't even survive comfortable ground braced travel in an ordinary cart. And with that, the owner of the expressive voice turns to you and nods as if he didn't expect to see anyone else. Jubilus Northropo. I'm just passing through. The name is familiar to you. Northropo is an eccentric gnome scholar for Absalom, traveler, explorer, popularizer of science, journalist, and author of a dozen books and countless articles. Due to his overly sharp tongue, he's been sentenced to death or exile by no fewer than three or four nations of Gloria. Every year, new rumors surface of his death at the hands of some offended monarch or other. I've heard about you. You're a scientist and an explorer, aren't you? Jubilus Northrop, scientist, traveler, cartographer, journalist, lecturer, author of numerous books on popular science, almanacs, and breakthrough discoveries in half a dozen academic fields. And at one point, I'll stop a millennium long conspiracy of a first world demigod. But that's nothing. I've heard rumors of your death. Jubilus shrugs in an emphatic, dismissive way. These rumors never stop. I'm not a desk jockey, but a field researcher and a cartographer. I spent most of my time on the road, stopping only briefly to finish a paper or give a lecture. Every time the unknown of new mysterious land swallows me, my detractors jump at the chance to spread stories of my death. I've been credited with perishing in the depths of the Eye of that Bedingo, meeting my end at the hands of the Whispering Tyrant where Laswell fell, and many far less impressive deaths, such as being drowned by kobolds in a river in a place not marked on any map. 
Hogwash. I do not imagine myself immortal, but so far, I've been able to avoid meeting Phrasma. There's still so much to learn about this world. Jubilo's speech seems confident, and there's no reason to doubt his words. Yet, he mentioned the fall of Laswell as a well-known fact. But you know for certain this nation is alive and well. You just happen to be passing through so deep in the world wound? What's bothering you? Of course I didn't mean to say this happened by accident. Passing through simply means I do not intend to conduct extensive research or educational work here. Just make a few observations here and there. What's wrong with your cart? Oh, I suppose I should have led with this. Sadly, my cart is stuck and my assistants, Jubilos casts a peevish look at the three gnomes shuffling awkwardly nearby. As it turns out, are completely incapable of applying the most simple practical skills in fixing this blasted wagon. I would appreciate your help, Commander. All you need to do is attach the wheel, clear the road, and calm the poor ponies. The world won't cause it the great stress. How do you know I'm the Commander? I haven't introduced myself. Jubilos adjusts his glasses. Obviously, it's about my acumen. Surely you didn't expect a renowned scientist to be so ignorant as not to recognize the most significant historical figure of this region in error. You're asking me to fix your cart? Me? The commander of the Fifth Crusade and wielder of mythical power? Why not? Perhaps your mythical power allows you to snap your fingers and make a new cart materialize? If not, I would be grateful if you would fix this one. I'll see what I can do. This is wonderful, and don't think me an ungrateful lout. I'll be sure to mention your generosity in the article I write about this encounter. I'm going to take some notes, and you may get started on the repairs, Commander. Trickery. Fix the wheel. After 10 minutes of work and a little bit of ingenuity, the wheel slides back in place, none the worse for wear. A thought just occurred to me, Commander, says Jubilos, who barely pays attention to your attempts to repair his cart. What do you think of your place in history? You're a powerful ruler of the dead at the head of a crusade. Do you see any irony in this? Aren't you afraid of me then? What matter of question is that? Of course not. A word of advice, if I may. Don't harbor any illusions about your own tremendous significance. To a scientist, you're a research subject in a detail of historical context, with or without mythical powers. Is this an attempt to interview me? Were this an interview, I'd be asking you awkward questions. I had plenty, believe me. Jubilos looks at you through his glasses as if he knows every secret. I can start by asking about the source of the mythical power that made all of Mendev consider you the chosen one of the gods, and then move on to asking, how does it feel to be the hero in one of the greatest scams in modern history? But I'm not doing this. I'm merely satisfying my curiosity. Perhaps my fate has been far from ordinary, but I'm satisfied with the path I've chosen and the person I've become. And are those forced to follow you happy? Those who depend on you? Jubilos adjusts his glasses. Or are you one of those people who goes ahead without bothering to ask the opinions of others? Then again, who am I to lecture one of the greatest figures of our time? Be on your way and Desno will aid you. I'll just stand here by the side of the road and take some notes. Lower nature, calm the ponies. Failed. Your attempts to calm the nervous ponies do not produce the desired result. The ponies are now looking at you with obvious sympathy, almost as if they're trying to cheer you up. It seems they believe you need emotional support more than they do. <laughs> Athletics, clear the way for the cart. Your efforts are not in vain. The pile of junk blocking the path has been swept aside. That's it. I did what I could. What? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose it should be on my way. How unfortunate. I haven't yet satisfied my curiosity. But what can you do? Time waits for no one. I have a feeling there's something you're not telling me, Mr. Northropel. There are some strange slips in your speech and demeanor. Hmm, Jubilos pauses. I must admit, acting is not one of my talents. I was hoping to casually run into you in a completely natural way, then ask a few questions. But it is tricky to appear natural when this chance encounter takes place in the middle of the war wound and you come from the future. Jubilos pauses again for dramatic effect. Yes, exactly as I said. Some of my friends, many in number but acting as one, could do the most curious things to time. I humbly asked them for an opportunity to meet the legendary commander of the Fifth Crusade in person. 
I desperately wanted to take a few notes of such a fateful figure in Galorian's history from my article on the Age of Lost Omens. I hope you're not angry about this small masquerade. And even if you are angry, I'm still satisfied. Best of luck to you. I hope you come by these parts again. My apologies, but a thousand more discoveries await me. I can't stay in one place too long. But I'm glad to have met you. This conversation provided me with much food for thought. Farewell, Commander. Having already turned his cart, Jubilo sla suddenly slaps himself on the forehead. I almost forgot. I was asked to give this to you. Golden Toad. A toad statuette made of solid gold. It looks more like an idol than a decorated figurine. I have found no other use for that than selling it, by the way. So if any of you know a another use for it, by all means. Drop some nods and let me know, but that's the only use I'm aware of. All right, continuing our own way. Boom, boom. Swarms are super tough to deal with. All right. Um. Yeah, I want it out the way, so fine. Bing. Dee -dee. Excellent. Oh, there's two of them over there. Isn't that nice? Oh. You're here, okay. Um, ooh, didn't see that coming. Um, you, no, 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 whoops. That helps a little bit. Are you serious? Girl, there we go. Um, Get rid of the one we have. Excellent. And you focus on this one. Cut that one down. Ooh. Very nice job. And then he'll get his vengeance. He'll come a little bit closer. And hey, you'll get started on as well. A little bit of damage. Every little bit counts. And then take this thing out. Ugh, things are so annoying. Um, ba, 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 da, da, ba. The magnificent cliffs of the fallen Sakors have become a lair for the hor horrifying Vescovore swarm. The soldiers have exterminated those heinous creatures and turned their caves into an impenetrable fortress with many hideouts, unassailable tunnels, and secret passages. Right. We got level up here. We can increase the infirmary. Flanking grants a plus four bonus to attack instead of plus two. All units in the army gain a plus six to AC instead of plus four. We're making the total defense action. I don't need any of this, so we'll just go with outflank. All right, now, when I finish with that, 
we cleared all that. So whatever this opens up, it, it opens up around here. Yeah, so we'll continue on, get to here, and then clear everything going back up. Boom, 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 boom. What's going on here? Well, clear this side. Boom, 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 boom. And deal with the other side. Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll go ahead and start dealing with the rest of you. <laughs> she wasn't expecting that arrow. <laughs> and that's done. Crusaders descended upon the enemy in the middle of ongoing negotiations. A small gang of demons was haggling fiercely with a group of strange mortals covered in shadows for an artifact the latter had brought. In the end, it was the commander's soldiers who gained the treasure, but not before letting out his final breath, one of the mortals promised with an evil grin that the Onyx Alliance would not forget the insult inflicted. According to him, the powerful trading alliance from the Shadow Plane ran operations across many worlds. Yeah, lots of luck, buddy. All right, um, I don't think we built anything here. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Alchemist. Archery. Oh, we could have it in here if we want it. Only one end could be building each fort. Why won't it let me finish this? Well, or, or build it, rather. It only takes one. If there are no buildings that provide recruitment growth in the fort. Oh, well, whatever. And there we go. Oh, come on. Seriously? After losing her parents, her entire life is, and now that it's come to an end. Interesting. All right. Um, expendables. Also, oh, it cuts off here, so it's going to force me to deal with those up here. Interesting. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And... Oh, lovely. That's a lovely result. Let's see if we can make that happen again. Oh, even better. And now you... Can you end this? Hey! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Bum, 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 bum. One of the Nalfeshnis killed by the Crusaders was clutching a huge blood-stained bag in his arms. Inside, the soldiers discovered lots of weird trinkets, broken artifacts, relics that had lost their power, and other such oddities. It seems like this demon took joy in collecting broken magical things. Mm -hmm. All right, that ended there. So they really make you? Are you serious? I'm cut off from over there. Can't be. I can't be expected to get there from down here. That's just not. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Guess we'll see soon. All right. Let's see. What does this do? Lovely, lovely work. And we'll cut down one of you as well. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Um. I guess we'll... I think you're susceptible to the arrows, right? 15. That's not a crazy amount. How, do you, how about you? 
Ooh, much better. That's the type of numbers I like to see. Would have been nice if we caught you before you summon help, but it's whatever. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have. God dog it. I wasted that. Oh, well. Um. Nah, we'll chill back here. Let you come up. Still chilling. All right. Fireball over here. Excellent. Um, and I'll focus fire on you. 14. You might need another round. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, man. That, that helped quite a bit. We will take that. Ah, uh, why can't the person where I really need to have two rounds have two rounds? You're the one. Ooh, but you don't need it there. Okay, I'll take it. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. The Crusaders wiped out the coal mine's guards, so hundreds of prisoners finally shambled out from the shafts. Barely believing their luck, the soldiers stared at the slaves in horror, seeking to deny them the possibility of escape. The demons had blinded the slaves before driving them into the impenetrable darkness of the mine. So, not that. Man, greater channel negative energy. I really, uh, to all living enemy units when, oh, this is an arcane. Yeah, I'm taking that. All right. And that's all she wrote. And we'll go ahead and rest here. Hmm. And let's make sure. Oops, expendables. Nope. Okay. I think that's an excellent place to stop. Hope all of you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave me a like down below. Share this content. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.